Hello and welcome back to what's bubbling is in. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at the new Zim forum. So we're at the Zim site now, zimjs.com, and you can get to the forum up at the top, or it's listed under what's new in Zim 016. Uh, note we have added or videos as well to the features page, so you can check those out. And this will be the latest bubbling on the Zim forum right here or like I said, at the top. We uh, were doing our forum in Slack, but the messages disappeared after three months. And also it was, you had to log in to see the stuff. It wasn't on Google searches, etc. So we've moved over to Discourse and been running that for about a month now. So Discourse is, um, well, the URL is forum.zimjazz.com or zibjs.com slash forum. And also if you try and go to Slack from various links, uh, you'll end up in the forum now. So the Slack has been sunset. We're no longer posting there. And here we are on Discourse. So we have announcements, places for announcements, including the announcement that we have a new forum. Oh, that's a Zim016 launched uh, there, but down under announce, ah, the forum is here. So you can read about that if um, if you want. And here's the launch to Zim016, for instance. And that was talking about the shaders and all of the new things there, as well as more uh, posts about it. Uh, back on the main page. So to get to the main page, you press up at the top there. And the topics are announcements, examples, questions, general requests and bugs. Uh, under questions, you can ask questions there and then we will answer or other people will answer. And when you're here, oh, um, you should go introduce yourself under general. So introductions, we've got introductions here. Don't be shy. We'd love to hear from you. And here are people introducing themselves. You're welcome to do that. And it's nice to see them. Okay, usually we say hello back. All right. Um, there are also these things called tags. So here are some tags. And I'm going to click. Oh, I opened it. There we go. And can I see them all? All tags like that. And so what we're doing is as we go, we'll tag things. You guys can tag things too, but uh, don't worry about it so much because we can do it. So as we're answering a question or whatever, we may answer a question on um, whatever it may be here. Here's one on label words, for instance. So label words sequence alpha change not working using set props and so forth. Okay, um, so that's an example of bugs and note that that's been locked. So when we went into it, we uh, it was actually a clarification rather than a bug, but that's okay. And then we did some things related to that, etc. And once we're done, boop, 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 we then uh, will lock it with the settings here. And so that means it's closed. And I, I don't know, I, I think you, I'm not sure if you can post on that then if it's closed, I guess not. Um, but that's because we're kind of finished that. You're welcome to start a new one and that keeps the closed ones from stopping showing up in here. So these ones still are not closed. Uh, if you ever have any problems with typings, this is where you can go and then we can... Um, so if there's any typings that you find when you're using TypeScript, it remains open and we can handle fixing up the typings from there. Okay, so you get it. So tags are another way. So aside from the main categories here, you've got tags on any number of things you can search. Up. There's also messages. So under messages, we I have an inbox and we'll go there now because those are private for me. Uh, and channels. So you can, under messages, you can send messages to people in the forum and you can find the people. I'm not sure, I think you have this under more uh, users and there's users, uh, but I don't know, that might be just us um, because we're admins, so we have an admin section there. Uh, anyway, underneath tags here, there's also channels and channels is a place where you can chat over on the right. So, hey, 
how was the weekend question mark okay and then you can come and find that uh, they disappear pretty quickly but that's sort of like a place where you can chat with people okay and i think that's um pretty well it we did a post under what mm, probably under general so under general about welcome to the zim forum discourse tips so here's some tips uh, about discord and one thing that we know it supports the formatting so markdown and uh, that's an example of doing some code and you can do that by putting in three little uh, back ticks and what else oh yeah so there's also the back uh, like a place in the code thing that shows up and you can bookmark when you bookmark things so a bookmark shows up where here then you get to set um, a time almost like a let's see what do we do in slack uh, that was the Oh, I can't remember what they called that in Slack, but I used to use this all the time to make sure we didn't lose track of bugs, etc. And you can use those too. Um, let's see. We now have little happy faces and stuff. Where'd they go? I don't see it on there. Uh, I don't see it on here. Maybe why well, it's not because it's my post, but let, let's try another one. So if I look at examples and go to dodo dot we just launched dodo dot and here they are okay so uh, we've added emojis which is good so we can customize the forum discourse is very customizable so if you know of anything from other discourses that you like maybe i think we can do a poll in here but you know anything like that uh, you're welcome to ask and, and we can put that in you can put under requests there all right, so, ooh, Dodo Dot, that was a lot of fun. Um, so go and try that out. Uh, under examples, what we're doing with examples is a little bit different in that we're trying to uh, eventually put everything that Zim can do in examples, and that can then be searchable. So when we first started off with examples, we're doing the emitter configurator, uh, normalize and ratio speech recognition. Okay, so these were things that were new in Zim 016, but we'll continue to, as we make examples, of course, we'll, we'll add them in here, but we want to just continue making um, small samples of the different parts of Zim and connect through probably to the editor because the editor has grown quite a bit. There are some links here under oops under links. There's the Zim site. We should put a link to the editor as well, uh, just to try and encourage people. But within the examples as well, there will be links to the editor. Like I said, that's that's growing, and people who are coming to Zim will then be able to find that via search engines, and then hopefully pop into the editor and work on things there. Okay, so there you go. Uh, I think that's a good overview of what's happening there. If there's any bugs, let us know. We'll add our own bugs to that as well. Um, and when the bugs have the little lock there, that means the bugs have been solved. Okay, and so this is uh, the sort of official place for doing bugs. Now, did we miss anything? Under general, we talked about the introductions. That's great. And under requests, you're welcome to put any requests there, such as make a book of Zim. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, maybe one day we've considered it. That's a lot. Okay, so you can put requests there as well. Yay, so that is What's Bubbling at Zim. That is the new forum. Uh, so we'll see you there, zimjs.com slash forum or forum.zimjs.com. And Discord is still going, but Slack has been grandfathered or sunset, so we're not using um, Slack. However, uh, Discord is still there as well for those of you who are on Discord, but uh, it'd be great if some of you from there would also come on into this forum too. Uh, the more here, the merrier. Cheers. Have a great day or night.
Bye.